Right then, while it's I'm in a non-windy spot because it's what's called blustery today, I'm just going to go through a little bit of wood before going towards Robert Warren. So I'm out of the wind, so I'm doing a small video. This is um, the 12th of November 2019. And I decided to risk coming out today. Uh, I went out yesterday for a small walk in Western Woods, but uh, this isn't a huge walk today, but it's still going to be like up in Robera Warren, wandering about a bit. I've parked down by the pub, decided to bring Alberta. I can remember all those times I've waited in the freezing cold, even up to an hour for a bus in the winter, and it is no joke. Um, I will have to do that again, but um, I, have, I have got leggings, which I can put on if I did start getting colder, because they do insulate as well, the waterproofs. But I haven't put them on at the moment. So anyway, I'm going down here. But I have got my padded green jacket on now. Um, the quilted one. Because, um, <coughs> you know, it's not exactly waterproof. But it's not supposed to rain today. Um, I have got another coat which is much more waterproof. And cosy and warm as well. And another one for when it's severe weather. Uh, like minus something or other but this one is my roaming one I've got on today um, <clears throat> yeah I've cut out a bit normally when I get the bus I get off at Sanford and then walk across past the skiing slopes and the adventure area um, <clears throat> which I still had in my mind I was doing today but then I realized no I don't have to that bit will be cut out um, it just gives me an extra hour I was a bit later than what I, I well only half an hour later actually because what it is um, I, Alberta started first time she's been fine um, but then a windscreen wiper jammed halfway first of all I, th I always think that vandalism and all that but it turned out it was just a fuse but I didn't have a spare one for for that um, I might still have some in the drawers in the van somewhere. Um, I remember, I think I threw some out not long ago, which I shouldn't have done really. But um, Basically, I haven't got one that will fit, but it's definitely a fuse gone. The little wires have snapped, and then when I tried to put another type in, it just blew it straight away. So, um, basically, I've got to stop at a garage, hope it doesn't rain. And um, the only thing is, when I did put that temporary fuse in, which lasted two seconds, it did move. Unfortunately, it did move the um, windscreen wipers up. So they're sort of an obstruction at the moment. Now, I have cleaned the window a bit from dust. And if it does rain, I'll call the RAC because because I need to... Or try and get to a garage somewhere. I'll be coming up this hill later. This is the way back I'm going to go. Because there is a couple of garages. Um, along here. And, uh, but of course, because of Alberta's old. Do they do the fuses? Will I be able to get a fuse to fit her? You know, this is always the problem with old vehicles, you see. With new technology. They don't always have fuses as such so if not I'll, go, I'll have to take her to my garage they could charge you 50 quid for putting a fuse in now, hopefully they won't because I know what the problem is That's, it's always good if you know because then they can't really do you it's like when I had the clutch cable went I knew it was a clutch cable so they couldn't sort of charge me hundreds of pounds for engine failure or anything because they will not all of them, they're not all unscrupulous. And I've been quite pleased with my garage to a certain extent uh, with Alberta. Anyway, this is the A38 that I'll be going up later on the way home. I came a different way today. I came, um, where did I come? I can't remember. I came from Banwell. I normally go back Banwell, but I don't want to go back there today because the uh, traffic jams are bad although it has recently been released it's recently been released that um, 
Banwell's going to get a bypass. Yeah, Banwell's getting a bypass um, at a cost of £9 million pounds or something. Um, it's been given some money to do it and the go-ahead. And I tell you, that village desperately needs it. That's a medieval village, right? And um, Banwell is, like a lot of villages are, but Banwell's got a castle and everything. But it's ruined by the traffic. Um, it's lost little shops that just get covered in mud and muck. And all day long you've got lorries and buses and Christ knows, school traffic, work traffic. So everyone is relieved that that's happening for Banwell. They will join up another road somewhere. I don't know how it'll work yet. But anyway, that's just a little part of t news for today. Um, yeah, Zara's got to go for some sort of job interview today to be a kitchen assistant. She doesn't know what it means. So uh, she doesn't mind if it's just washing up, she says. I wish her luck. Um, so here we go. I'm walking up this little track. I'm not, I don't know whether I'm going up on the top of the uh, fort. It's quite likely I will later. I've seen a few cars going up here with some people drive up here and park. I prefer to park by the pub, to tell you the truth. A bit more security, really. Um, oh, that's a lovely scene, isn't it? Look how gorgeous that is, everyone. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to stop now and take a picture. Over and out. Right, here we go. Start at Dolbury Warren. So, I've seen a cyclist and a bloke with a blue anorak so far. The hill fort's up there, which I might be coming down later. Probably, most likely. If not, I'd be coming back down through here. But I do like to do circulars. So I should probably have a wander in the wood, road barrel warren that is, and then go climb up the hill the other side and down. Remembering there's a secret pathway in there and up the steps, which I won't be doing today. Um, obviously it's risky coming out on a blustery day in the woods with all this wind, but actually when you're down here you're quite protected. Well, from the wind, but not from a falling tree. You hear a crack, I don't know which way you're supposed to run. Down this roof. If one's coming down, like say that one there. It could turn and twist, so though it might look like it's falling one way, it'd be hanging on by its roots and bark, and it could then twist. You see? It's all risks we take in life. You know, it's nice to see the stream running again down here. It's obviously an overflow. Doesn't always. Well, often this one's dry. <coughs> Old stone walls. It's nice to come out in all seasons because um, I don't know whether I've been out this time of year. I probably have to catch the trees in the autumn. I do need to get out today. I just hope it don't rain on the way back so that I don't have to worry about the windscreen wipers too much. <sighs> I am a bit wheezy. Um, I am a little bit wheezy today. But this bank is helping. Been built up, I thought, I'm sure in the past, or it might be further up. It was very, very muddy and cloggy and painful to walk on. I think it's getting more used now. The public are becoming more familiar. I mean, look at that lovely scene there. They're becoming more familiar with the walks. And uh, so it would get leveled out a bit more. I think this top path has developed more and people have been doing some work there. But in the past, I remember having to walk up awful pathways like that. Right, I'm going to turn off now to take some photos. Not far away is Roe Barrow 
little church, which I've never been inside. I'd have to make a special visit to do that on a Sunday, I think. Over and out again, just short videos.